my name is Marco. I'm 15. I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma. So I was on the lacrosse field one day. So this was fourth grade. I was running down the field and out of nowhere I felt this thumping pain in my leg. The coach actually pulled me over. He said, is there something wrong with your leg? Go sit down. The next day he had me go for an x-ray and he kind of thought it was serious from what I got out of it. On the x-ray there was little lump, of course, being that I was 10 years old, I had no idea what it was, and it turned out it was cancerous and it was osteosarcoma, a leg cancer commonly found in, in adolescence. I only knew one person who had cancer, and that was like my grandpa. Marco's grandfather that lived with us passed away from cancer. My grandma died of cancer, and my uncle died of cancer. Some of my family members had like breast cancer and stuff, but I don't, I don't know too much about it. I really rarely knew what cancer was and how tremendous it would have a toll on me. I still didn't really understand it, didn't know a whole lot about it. I did not understand it at all. I just knew he was going into the hospital every now and then. Like when you're a kid, you don't really think about like, oh maybe one day I'll have get some kind of disease because all you think about is get out of school, I want to go play with my friends, do my homework and just enjoy life. You don't think about the serious problems that could arise. It's just not constantly on your mind. Hearing the word cancer is terrifying. Hearing it was so close to home. It's your little brother. You know, like your kids aren't supposed to be sick. Uh, honestly, in like the beginning, I didn't, I didn't really worry that much because I just knew like, uh, whatever he has, he's gonna like overcome it, get through it. But then as you could start seeing like the physical like effects of what's going on to him, you start to worry of what's happening because you can see it like right in front of you. I couldn't play any sports, I couldn't walk around, do my normal thing. And it was much harder for me to hang out with my friends, which was really hard. And most of all, it was just very hard to be kind of deemed as normal. Like everybody liked Marco before, but now he just became like the center of attention that he may have necessarily not have wanted because it was for a, uh, yeah, for that reason. I just felt like I had this big bulky cast on and this weird disease that had labeled me different and that was kind of hard. Uh, a fundraiser started for me called For Marco and a lot of support was raised there. Rubber bla bracelets that she would sell for like two dollars and honestly that helped us so much in, in paying for hospital bills and paying for anything. It was tremendous outreach by our community, our friends, people we didn't know, people we still haven't met today. Me, Milo, and a couple of the guys that go to St. Baldrick's, we raise money for his uh, treatment and stuff like that to show bring awareness to what he's going through. We, we knew it would have a lifelong effect, that it, it forced a level of maturity that Marco should not have had to attain and deal with this terrible struggle. Marco lost that time to be a child. He lost a huge portion of his childhood because he had to grow up and he had to deal with something that was so serious. During cancer, I'd say he was brave, a lot braver than me. Strong, courageous. Inspiring, loving, he, look at me. That's it. Very brave, like he wasn't scared of a lot. Incredibly brave. Whenever I would see him, he would always have like a smile on his face. There was never time where you would see him where he'd be like sad or anything because that's just like who he is. The more I think I, I learned the depth of a human being and the strength of the character. When times are difficult and, and terrible things happen, people rise to the occasion, people you least expect. Yeah, you're, you're not invincible and you, anything can happen to you, but we also learned how your mind and how you are able to really push yourself through something, even if you don't think you're capable. He was, Marco was just great at doing that. He was able to push himself through. Keep hopeful and push through and for the community to help out, donate, do fundraisers. Make sure you spend time and show how much you love all of your family members. It's truly like a blessing to me that I that I was able to get through this, and I believe that whoever you are out there, you can too. Believe that it will get better because it will. It's a very tough, long road, but you'll pull together in this battle against this terrible disease. You'll question as to why you, why your child, why, why would God or whoever is steering this ship bring this terrible thing to a child. But in the final analysis, we all need each other to pull together to win this battle. And we did. We were fortunate. Marco is in complete remission now. But be strong. And if you're not strong, lean on other people. They're, they're there to help you. If I had to say one thing about 
cancer is that it is a hard journey, long journey, it could be, but it's not forever, and don't let it change you. Because I know so many people that I knew in the hospital that let the illness change them and take a toll on them, and including me, I, I let my illness take part of me um, at times. And if I had one thing to say to someone who's going through the same thing or something similar, I would just say, don't, don't let it change you. Be the same person you were, hang around the same people that made you feel good before this, and just live life. Don't let it change you.